Welcome back to Artscape. I'm your host, Bill Harris, today, and my friend Rob Landeck is with me. Rob, at the beginning, uh, we talked a little bit about your paintings and how you make them and all, but one of the things I want to point out, too, is you're also a teacher. You teach art. Yes. Um, what are some of the things that are important when you're teaching? I know when I'm teaching, because I teach as well, I like to, I, I put a little bit more stress on creativity and things like that, like the concept and, and the compositions more so than the than the actual painting. What's what's some of the principles that are important to you as a teacher? Yeah, I, I feel too as a um, more of a facilitator, where like you're saying, they um, I would want the student to come with some idea, right? And then from there we can break it down. From there, I me, mean, I don't like to um, I don't I don't like to. Uh, touch other people's work you know yeah even, right. you know even on that level um, so it's come kind of like yeah I, I, I want I would like them to bring their ideas to the table first and then we can kind of throw one mix them up mash them and then work them back out and then uh, the people who have taken my class pretty much they, they take it because I think they enjoy um, the uh, mixed media aspect. And, and that's what that's what you teach what too. you teach is very similar to the, the art that you make or they, they, they may bring yeah. Um, found objects and, and you'll make art out of it. Right, right. right. Bring, yeah, that's the thing. It's just like, you know, bring, bring something that means something to you. Right. You know, and that's, that's where I think the... Um, and I just know, want to point out, anybody can get a hold of you at Liberty Town if they want to take classes yes. with you. You know, I just want to, um, what's interesting is, that, you know, I know a lot of artists in town here, and you're one of the few artists that actually grew up around here. You know, a lot of us are from outside the area and, and things yeah. like that, but you grew up as a, in, in Spotsylvania, is that right? Pretty much. I mean, I, I moved to the area when I was about 10, so. Right. So, so um, let, me, let me just ask you this. What was the art like growing up as a young artist? Was there a lot of artists that you could look to, like, sort of for inspiration locally here, or... Or was it a good support group or, yeah. you know, good teachers here then? Well, um, kind of like we were talking about earlier, is like I, I'm kind of a late bloomer right. into the, the whole art team. I mean, yeah, I drew when I was younger mm -hmm. and uh, so on in high school art classes and this and that. And then uh, probably it felt like almost a 10-year hiatus, you know, between then and there. And, there. and then um, just started taking classes again, getting back into it. And then, uh, you know, just... Um, you know, the, the hard thing was going, you know, putting yourself out there for right. the first time, yeah. you know, to go out there and actually, can I please have a show here? Yeah, you know, yeah I mean, certainly the artists, artists have to have thick skin. You, you have to be able to, to sort of put that aside and not really worry what people are going to say and, yeah. and just do it because you enjoy doing it and, and it satisfies something in you to create and not, not looking for someone to, to give you a pat on the back and right. say, yeah, good job, Rob. Right, right. But after doing that first show, first one or two different shows, um, um, you know, that's when, you know, you really started meeting other artists. Uh, that's when I started meeting other artists. And, uh, yeah, and I think, you know, it's and interesting and about Fredericksburg. I think it's a really good town to be an artist. I think, you know, there's a lot of venues to show artwork, but also yeah. I think the artists are good. I think 99% of them are very helpful. If you, if you go to another yeah. artist with yeah. a, a problem or a question, everybody's willing to really help out. And uh, I think that's good. And one other thing is to be an artist, you need a really good support group. I mean, I think mm -hmm. you need a good family behind you. I think we all have that. Um, I think if you don't have that, it's difficult to yeah. be an artist. And obviously, you do, you know, your wife Cameron and two children. And, uh, and then, you know, the, our Liberty Town community. Yeah. You know, is really, um, I think, you know, I have probably, you know, uh, I don't know everybody there exactly, but, you know, the, there's a close-knit, you know, yeah, type group yeah. definitely in yeah. there. And I think even in the little clicks that go on in there, you know, everybody's got their support group. Right. I always think it's interesting se. with Liberty Town is that, that if you put a hundred artists in a building, that building should collapse. Among, you know, <laughs> that's, that's, that's too many crazy people in one building. But, right. uh, hey, I want to get back to your artwork. Sure. Um, you know, behind us here, we have, uh, we, we have a, a new painting here, and, and this is something that means a lot to me because I, I had a big wheel when I was growing up. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. so, so how do you make the shift from painting about music and things like that, and then, and then do a piece like this where it sort of references, you know, your childhood. Well, this piece, um, actually, and I think there's another one too, but um, what it came out of was uh, um, there is a group called the Invisible Children, mm -hmm. and um, they were doing a fundraiser um, up in D.C., and, uh, you know, it was uh, one of those things, I guess we were talking, I was talking to Gay too, it's one of those things about stepping out, out of your uh, comfort zone a little bit. You know, and uh, and it was for a fundraiser. Was, you right. know, as you know, the artists yeah, get asked right. to do a lot of. 
but the invisible children group and then uh, you know it was you know like you were saying i had big wheels too you know mm -hmm. so it was a good um it was a good uh you know to me it just seemed like the right thing to put on there you yeah. know you know but the invisible children group is a um it was out of uh a place in africa where um you know the children were getting kids were getting kind of yanked out of their homes and, oh, and wow. pulled into the army you know that's that's where we, we have the guns so in here too. Guns. Yeah, ah, that's interesting. That's an interesting contrast between the the, the, the children's toy and, and the guns in there. Huh. Yeah. Um, now, with with your with the piece that we had looked at before, we had had some um, New Orleans literature underneath it. What what type of literature is underneath this one that you, you printed on that you painted on? Uh, it's different um, news articles dealing dealing with uh, out of um, most of them. I think are pulled out of like. Um, I, I want to say the Post, Washington Post. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, yeah. that's interesting. I think most artists or most people, when they look at your work, they would just think it's just random, you know, clippings out of papers. But it, it looks like you spend a lot of time coming up with the right pieces, you know, to build your painting on top of. Yeah. I think that's interesting. I think I think we'd all do good just to spend a little bit more time looking closely at it and seeing how all the images sort of relate to each other. Right. Um, besides, now this this is acrylic. Over, mm -hmm. uh, you also do block prints. Right, you do yeah, I do. I do like to do some block prints. And the piece that's sort of over your shoulder here, um, yeah. the, the block prints, which I love. I love your block prints. Um, the, the piece to your to your left here looks a little bit like a watercolor, but that's um, that's an acrylic. It's still acrylic. Okay, yeah. just water it down quite a bit. Yeah. And right right next to us here, we have some pieces, um, some of the uh, little bird pieces. Yeah. Um, it's funny that you have blue moon around the birds. Any any connection there? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean. Uh, it, they were just uh, they were readily available, right? If you will. And Once again, goes back to the recycling, right. reuse, right. right, right, right. That's probably a nice thing you could teach your kids. You know, look, you know, we're we're, we're taking this and, yeah. and we're going to make art out of it. Yeah. Um, Which my older one actually, you know, he. Yeah, does. I was going to ask you, is either one of your kids into art? Yeah, yeah, both. Well, the five-year-old, of course, he likes to scribble, and uh, <laughs> crumple and whatever. But the older one, yeah, he definitely is into um, making things. He's got a little uh, entrepreneurial spirit to him. Is that right? Definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, um, really, um, he really, he's really connected with uh, Megan Hicks. Okay, down, another artist, celebrity teller, sure. right? Storyteller. Storyteller. Um, another form recycler. of art. Recycler. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, right. Oh, of course, yeah. Megan makes all the recycled art. You know, it's yeah. interesting. Is anytime you, you can go to Liberty Town and walk by your studio and see you and Miles, your youngest son, in there painting together. I yeah. think that's a really nice thing to, to be able to have. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And sort of getting back to to, to Liberty Town and, and in general, Fredericksburg era. A lot of younger artists can now look to people like yourself maybe hopefully myself, and, and see, hey, look, I can do that. I can, mm. you know, and come in there and talk to you about it and see, hey, what do I have to do to become an artist? Do you, do you get any of that? Do you get any young artists come Be in there? Being an elder statesman there? Yeah, well, artist? I didn't want to say that. <laughs> I, I'm still a little older than you, so. <laughs> Not much, but, right. uh, but um, no, yeah, I, I guess um, they, uh, you know, I, there's a lot of appreciation, I guess, that people come in and, um, yeah, you know, I, I personally, I don't like to give advice. I, 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 Is that right? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, uh, I think you, you need to, well, they need to. I mean, if that's what they want to do, pursue it. Mm -hmm. You know, find your own path. I, I, um, you know, I can tell somebody what I did right, type right. thing. I mean, the best advice is to just keep doing it, keep making the art, you know. And yeah, is that what you would say if, it, let's say, a parent came to you and they had a, a young child who was into art, what, what, would, what would your best advice be to them? I would probably... If they were going to go the route of saying, um, take taking them to classes at Liberty Town, mm -hmm. is to take a different, you know, move them around, you know, right. not to just let's go to Bill for oil painting, let's mm -hmm. go to Rob for mixed media. You know, I mean, or yeah. just just you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a really let's good point. And I actually, to, to my students, I suggest that too. I think you can learn a lot from all different types of artists. Right. Um, you know, you, I think you I think you gain a lot from that. Art isn't done just one specific way. If you go to hundred different artists, they all do it yep. slightly differently. Um, so, anything we're missing here? Did anything we didn't talk about with your uh, paintings? That mm. you know, is there something that you know you want people to see with you when they see your art that, that is important that you want them to come away with? Well, um, hmm. I, I think I, I would like people, you know, number one to look at it and 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 kind of be like, you know. If they don't know me or haven't seen me, to be like, you know, that guy's, you know, really good, really skilled, and then to know that 
you know, there, there's, you know, to, to walk kind of like we were talking about the first segment, you know, you walk away with feeling, feeling right, something, right. you know. Yeah, I think they get that, and I think today's feeling good, been feeling good bad. to help explain a little bit. Well, th hey, thanks for coming today, Rob. Cool, thanks for having time. me. Well, that, that'll do it for this uh, episode of Artscape. Uh, I'm Bill Harris, and we will see you next time.